Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. NNPC confirms IOC's exit in seize on gas development. NUPRC calls for collaboration to enhance productivity, attract new investments. Patakot residents protest over poor power supply and over billing. And now, the news in detail. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited on Monday insisted that it would continue to develop Nigeria's gas resources despite the exit of international oil companies from the country due to the global push for energy transition and earth carbon zero targets. The NNPC's Group Managing Director, Mele Kiyari, disclosed this in Abuja at the ongoing Nigeria International Energy Summit 2022 with the team revitalizing in the industry, future fuels and energy transition. This came with federal government's announcement that it has established a $50 million liquefied petroleum gas energy fund in partnership with Afri Exim Bank to deepen the use of LPG in Nigeria. On energy transition, Kiari said the NNPC would work with its partners in facilitating the process in Nigeria, regardless of the massive investment drop in fossil fuel projects amid oil firms' exits from Nigeria. The Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission NUPRC, has disclosed that development in the global energy space calls for collaboration among stakeholders to enable the country to achieve higher productivity and attract the desired investment. The Commission's Chief Executive Benga Komolafe stated this yesterday at the 5th Nigeria International Energy Summit NIES 2022 in Abuja. Komolafe used the opportunity to share insights with potential investors on the statutory mandate of the Commission and the shifts in its regulatory direction since the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act PIA 2021. He noted that the Act empowers the NUPRC to carry out both technical and commercial regulation of the upstream oil and gas sector and offers attractive physical, regulatory and governance regimes for attraction of investments into the sector, while arguing that despite the transition and growth in renewable energy and nuclear power, fossil fuels are expected to continue to meet much of the world's energy demand. He stated that to meet the increasing demand, countries must carry out increased exploration, adopt advanced technology to maximize production yields and increase oil and gas reserves. Residents of Maotu, Diobu in Potakot on Monday barricaded the head office of the Potakot Electricity Distribution Company, PHED, in protest against overbilling and poor power supply in the area. The protesters, in their hundreds from various streets in Maotu, namely Akokwa, Nanka, Udi, MNEK, marched from Diobu to Moscow Road, chanting their grievances and carrying placards with various inscriptions such as PHED give us light, PHED stop overbilling us, among others. Spokesman of the protesters, Mr. Wisdom Aban, said Mao Tzu do not have up to three hours of power supply per day, but individual residents were being billed above 50,000 Naira monthly. <music> Cosmos has concluded plans to spend approximately $700 million on oil and gas projects in Ghana and Senegal capital expenditures in 2022. The company will spend about $400 million of the budget in relation to its base business in Ghana, Equatorial Guinea and Gulf of Mexico. The base business capex includes approximately $250 to $300 million of maintenance capital expenditures for development drilling 
as well as integrity management. In addition, Cosmos expects to spend approximately $100 to $150 million of growth capital expenditures to fund pre-investments for infrastructure supporting growth in the base business in 2023 and beyond. Shell announced on Monday that it will cease all operations in Russia, including a large liquefied natural gas project becoming the latest major Western energy giant to leave the oil-rich country in the aftermath of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Shell disclosed in a statement that it will exit its 27.5% interest in the Sakhalin 2 LNG project, which is 50% owned and run by Russian gas giant Gazprom. The announcement comes just one day after rival BP decided to sell its interest in Russian oil giant Rosneft, a move that could cost the British corporation more than $25 billion. Equino, a Norwegian oil company, also intends to leave Russia. Shell has stated that exiting Russian joint ventures will result in impairment. Shell said it has roughly $3 billion in non-current assets in these Russian businesses. As at the end of 2021. Shell's exit from the project, the world's largest LNG trader, is a setback for the company's intention to provide gas to fast-growing markets in the next decade. <music> The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has approved new incentives for exporters and henceforth they will enjoy a rebate of 65 naira for every dollar of non-oil export proceeds sold to third parties at the importers and exporters INE window. The CBN said the rebate scheme was specifically designed to incentivize exporters in the non-oil export sector to encourage repatriation and sale of export proceeds into the foreign exchange markets. Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. NNPC confirms IOC's exit insists on gas development. NUPRC calls for collaboration to enhance productivity, attract new investments. Potakot residents protest over poor power supply and over billing. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening.